Hey guys, Joshua Gandamu here, and today I'm going to give a tour of the Gundam Father Peace Studio, um, aka the War Room. That's what I always call it. Um, I've done a video collection before, and um, or at least a, a collection of my Gundam stuff, but today, specifically, this is a look at the studio. Here, uh, right now, um, is Gundam Destroy the Unicorn being filmed, along with just a little... Oxel kind of in there. As you can see, my, my studio tends to end up with various props and stuff on it. So, uh, this is my bag of uh, various beam effects and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, Destroy the Unicorns in the middle of filming. It's just transformed into the destroy mode. And I'm filming this ahead of time before uh, Gundam Unicorn, uh, or what I'm calling it is dis um, Destroy the Unicorn. In them stop motion and by now it's posted because I'm not uh, releasing this video before it comes out because it's kind of a secret animation at this time but um you can see the sky we have our lights this is just Walmart lights you know uh, lots of lighting is really important when you're doing stop motion animation over here I have my paints I have a couple figures there's a, a rare figure not a big new in the box figure kind of guy. I keep spare light bulbs here. I always use reveal bulbs. Um, these are some of my G.I. Joes. They're in the process of being painted. These guys have all been sanded. They just haven't been painted because I need somebody to paint them for me. I just don't have time. So I have my Tamiya paints, my other paints, various other paints. And them are us. This is where I keep a lot of my props. So I got cockpits and whatnot. Here's the miniature miniatures just more props this is kind of a I can hook the camera up to this and move it around and uh, there's where I keep my Xeons my Xeon GI Joes got my jets all hanging around here in the studio more ships up here for uh, using my manga collection of Gundam my Gundam stop uh, animation my other anime obviously my collection Wall scroll. I have my television here. This is my building table. And it's usually a mess. It's hardly ever clean. And uh, I use flashlights for practical lighting effects, and so they're kind of thrown around. I always have different DVDs that I borrowed from my friend and I use on my old Xbox to watch. Because um, I spend a lot of time here with the Red Comet. That's what I call it. The Red Comet. Editing. And so I'll usually watch a movie or watch anime while I'm editing. And then, you know, I got this for, for cutting and building customs on. Here's uh, some G.I. Joe props for part two of Gundam Father of Peace. Packaging for my Burai or something like that. The flashlight, knife, painting stuff, tacky glue, mini army men, detailed figures, Zeta Gundam, uh, Gundam version two spare parts for building GM mass productions. Um, over here I keep all my custom figures. Here's the, the newest Oxel Gundam waiting to be painted. Oh, that's where that plate went. Here's a Joe set up. Ship. Here's a Juog custom in the works. Mass production gun cannon, Wolf Gundam. There's a GM Quell waiting to be painted. This is my uh, GM command that I'm working on. Dom cannon. You know, various other props. Back here behind my shelves, I keep some props as well. You can see there's a there's a vehicle and there's a helicopter somewhere back there. There's a space colony. Here is Razor set, along with a lot of crap. You know, this uh, I wanted to use this for a Zaku Manawa and like chroma key it in somehow. You know, just, just random props. You know, GI Joes, barrels of slime. Down here is Golgotha. There's my trash. Kind of gross. But yeah, Golgotha stays down here. There's another little prop down there. That's the inside of the hover truck. Here are miniatures. Um, you know, for building cities and whatnot on bases. Those are G.I. Joe props. Those are actual G.I. Joes. More micro machine props stored here. I mean, basically this whole room is a big storage area. Custom pile. G.I. Joes. All right, I mean, being that I use this studio almost every day, I either come in here to relax, you know, and just enjoy the coolness of uh, all this Gundam stuff everywhere, or to just admire 
you know, Bradburn base, or, you know, to edit, or even watch movies, play video games. Uh, yeah, I got my Xeon flags. I use those as props, too. That's another Xeon flag. That's a uh, hero I created. Got little props. Back here, more props. This is one of my large containers. It has a variety of props in it. Road, um, bricks from Rev set. Um, this is a fold-out play set. Various G.I. Joe stuff and raw materials for building, because I do a lot of scratch building. Inside this one, more raw materials. I do a lot of props for Gundam Father of Peace. I mean, basically we're making an entire anime series out of stop motion animation, more raw materials. This whole box is just full of raw materials, just random stuff to build stuff, like uh, my big tray. You get parts out of that. More raw materials. Spare monitor in case my monitor dies. Because, you know, it happens sometimes and that kind of kills everything. Um, this is one of the old movie sets. We basically just reuse the styrofoam until it's not reusable anymore. So uh, this is for a scene where uh, the Gidams are us. GM will be in uh, Destroy the Unicorn. And so it's kind of to simulate the old Gundams are us first commercial background. And, uh, there's, uh, just more props. I mean, yeah, it's a mess, but it's because I'm always filming. I'm always editing. I'm always building something. There's my big tray. I have parts for my, uh, other things here. Mobile suits I'm adding to my collection. Another prop. These boxes all have, like, G.I. Joe props. Or, uh, Gundam props in them. More, more props. Super Van City, another Micro Machines prop. You know, obviously there's the collection, you guys have seen that. More props in here, more props. And, uh... Yeah, basically, my whole studio is a giant prop storage room. The idea is, hopefully, when some props have been used, um, that they'll end up on eBay to help fund the series. But, uh, you know, some of these props, I'll probably use them again and again. And you can't just get rid of good props. You know, like, I can't think of anything on Bradburn Base that actually I won't use again. Everything will probably get used again. You know, probably when we get to Jaburo or Odessa or whatever. The idea is to make ten episodes, each a half hour long. It takes more than a year to make an episode. But it brings me joy. It, I like building things. I like doing stop motion animation. I like the storyline. You know, the real reason I started making Gundam Father of Peace was that at the time, they were only making Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. And for those of you that love those series, that's great. But I am a UC fan. I love the Universal Century. And until recently, they weren't giving the UC any love. So uh, that's why I started Gundam Father of Peace, so I'd have more Gundam to watch. True story. That's why I started making it. And uh, continue making it because I want to watch Gundam. And uh, I hope you, you guys keep watching because you want to watch Gundam. Well, yeah, that's kind of a tour of my studio. I forgot to say that up on top of these shelves I have more G.I. Joe sets. But, uh, yeah, that's, that is the tour of the War Room. That's the breakdown. It's mostly prop storage. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this behind-the-scenes look. Catch you guys later.